An attentional blindness was dubbed by Arian Mack and Rock Irvin to describe their findings on several experiments on visual perception of unexpected objects. Future studies have been conducted to examine the effects of inattentional blindness. One study used frequently to demonstrate inattentional blindness was conducted by Daniel Simons and Chris Shabris. Simons and Shabris composed a video that consisted of six individuals divided into two teams, black t-shirts versus white t-shirts, passing a basketball for a series of 24 seconds. Halfway through the video, unbeknownst to the participants, an actor dressed in a gorilla suit enters the scene and briefly stands in the middle of the two teams and beats his chest. Prior to watching the video, participants were divided into two groups, the hard condition and the easy condition. In the hard condition, participants were asked to keep track of the amount of bounce and aerial passes completed by the black team. The easy condition, participants were just asked to keep track of the number of passes made by the black team. So the independent variable is the condition, which is hard or easy, and the dependent variable is the awareness of the gorilla. The research found that more observers noticed an unexpected event in the easy category as compared to the hard condition, 64% to 45%. Simons and Schaber suggested that we perceive and remember only objects and details that receive our focused attention and intentional blindness. The participants were focused on counting how many passes completed by the team in black, so they did not take notice of the actor dressed in the gorilla suit. We came up with a brief skit to demonstrate our understanding of inattentional blindness. We had a friend work on a crossword puzzle, and while he was working on it, a stranger wearing a Duke t-shirt approaches him and asks for directions to the Dean Dome. Pay attention to what happens. Hey man, do you think you could give me directions to the Dean Dome? Oh yeah, sure. I have a map on me, actually. Alright, so we're right here at the old well. Alright, now you just want to go down this road. Okay. Then go down here, and then you'll, you'll just see the Dean Dome, like, right over there. It's, right. You can't miss it. Yeah, sweet. Thanks. No problem. Hey, Corey. Wow, what a place to see you here. You didn't just happen to see a guy right through here wearing a Duke shirt, did you? He was holding a spray paint can. Pretty sure I'd noticed that. Um, no, I didn't. But, uh, good luck, man. I don't know where he went. I must have lost him. Okay, yeah. see ya. Later. The reason why Corey did not notice that Brandon was wearing a Duke t-shirt was because his cognitive resources were already exhausted on working on the crossword puzzle. Furthermore, he had to look at the map to point out the streets for Brandon to cross, so he filters out information that is unnecessary, such as the features of Brandon's shirt. This proves that we have a limited capacity for attention, which thus limits the amount of information processed at one time, so any salient feature within the visual field will not be observed if not processed by attention.